Everything you know about dried fruit in regards to teeth is completely false, and I'm here to tell you why. Contrary to popular belief, some dried fruits are actually good for your teeth. For instance, raisins have been shown to inhibit two different types of bacteria in the mouth that causes cavities and gum disease. Secondly, raisins do not stick to the teeth. You know, some people, uh, they're like, oh, I can't eat dried fruit because it's going to destroy all my teeth. You know, I'm going to have like crowns and fillings after this. In contrast, the study showed that raisins have a fast clearance rate and they're actually are removed from the teeth within five minutes of eating and swallowing. Thirdly, another study showed that raisins added to bran flakes actually help to remove the bran off the teeth. So they actually help to get rid of other food off the teeth. Fourthly, raisins do not lower the pH in the mouth, which increases the risk of cavities. Uh, fifthly, the, the sugars in most dried fruits are made up of fructose and glucose. Now, fructose and glucose are not as um, cavity causing as uh, sucrose, which is basically what table sugar is made up of. And also, some dried fruits, like dried berries, have a, a substance called uh, sugar al alcohol on it called xylitol, which not only prevents cavities, but may re remineralize the enamel. That's awesome. Also, prunes, and I got some right here, which are just dry plums. A lot of people don't know that. Um, you know, people don't know what prunes are. Well, they're plums. They're dry plums. Uh, have been shown to increase bone density. So that's really good for the teeth, too. I'm going to be posting all the studies down below in the description box so you guys know I'm just not making all this stuff up. So this is another edition of Fruit and Strength, and I'll see you guys next time. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Uh, leave a comment, share, and subscribe.